I first had the idea for Under the Sun in 2013. Baby, it was inspired by a song from Ryan Starr called Somebody's Son. I'd listen to that song on repeat, imagining these scenes to go along with it. Now, I can't play that song, but I'll link it below. And in 2013, I wrote a script and I shot it. Shit, what the fuck was that? It had its moments, but overall, it wasn't quite what I had imagined. <laughs> After all, as proud as I was of the makeup I did on myself, it looked about as low budget as the stuff I shot when I was 12. Who's this buffoon? Fast forward three years, it's 2016, and my friend and I had just won My Road Reel. <laughs> I pitched him on revisiting Under the Sun to be a follow-up short and a chance for me to finally get it right. God, so originally I shot Under the Sun three years ago, which would become the test shoot for this. It's just like a lot of writing advice. Write a very shitty first draft. No one has yeah. to see it. We started shooting in August 2016. So we're on set today. You look perfect. We're on set today shooting under the Sun with Colin Harris and Joey Gast. I am playing the uh, main character, Cunningham. Whitney, behind the camera here, is playing. What's my name? Wife number one. I don't get a name. I set out to recreate my original script, word for word. Oh, sorry. They still left the script. Those ding dongs will help them out. Wait. This time, there was no way it could fail. Oh my gosh, I like deliver like the most crucial line. That's horrible. I had audio. Are you gonna make us sound good? Well, that's the, that's the idea, yeah. A DP. I love it. That's my, favorite, that's my favorite framing yep. of the whole thing. Actors. I'm limited. I, as am I, Great. I have to look up and look good. Got you, bro. <laughs> and action. Great. Trust me. You know I will tell you if you're doing a bad job. I'm gonna get just a few shots of you. That's okay. Go ahead. Of their own volition. Oh, yeah. Was my twisting and going forward and back good? Yeah. Do you like that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. If like you're holding? See. And you just kind of stick your arm out. Oh, so she can hold the cross. Yeah. yeah. It's cut. It's great. Uh, <laughs> got to Weeks later, Joey and I went out to scout a location for the night scene. <laughs> it is snowing. We thought it was just going to rain. Up here in the mountains, it turns to snow. And this is... It's gonna be even more sad. It was perfect. It's beautiful. It's gonna be, look at the freaking trees. A few weeks later, after we coordinated with everyone's schedules, we took off after work. Picked up our star. Are you okay? Well, daddy's gotta go back to work. He goes, daddy, don't leave me. Don't leave me. He's never done that before. You're freaked out because of all the things that were going on. I am. I'm not gonna f lie to you. It's perfect. And we headed an hour out into the mountains. I told you it's fun. You do whatever you tell me to do, I sir. Like a, I feel like a, like I'm in like middle school again, you know? Yes. Like, <laughs> it feels so good to dress up. Is it like adjustable? Does that look too low? I mean, I'm not. It looks. No, I think it looks. I, yeah, it's fine. If you have something to say, say it. Maybe you've heard of the filmmaking gods. They are the foretold ones who grace your production with a glorious, perfect day. He, he, the pop, he opens his eyes over there. This is when smoke's whipping past him. Oh, and, uh, I'm sorry. I was we're starting with oh, no line. Oh. We're starting just getting people into character. Get him in character. Okay. Still gonna get open his eyes and get drugged from the okay. broken down tree over there. It'll just be cut in the middle to where we can bring him up and do the final little drag yep. right here. That night was one of those days. <sighs> Damn it, Kendall! Keep pressure on him. <sighs> Uh, Everything worked. Uh, 
Everything was perfect. It's a garbage bag, two LED light panels, a V-mount battery, and a lot of creativity. Do you want to call it? That's a wrap. <laughs> I got home around 2 a.m. I imported the footage, watched through it all, and started editing immediately. Within a few weeks, I had an edit done, identical to the one I made in 2013. It was terrible. I'm scared. I'm scared. I know. I know. So much. So Stay strong. Stay right? strong for me. Okay. And I was devastated. This version was going to be doomed just like the last. Over the next few years, I'd revisit the footage and try and make something anything to salvage a story that I was so proud of. In 2019, I decided to take another official shot at the edit. I went out and captured some extra B-roll in the same field that I shot the original. I figured by being in the same location, it was gonna give me some sense of inspiration to get this thing finished. But again, it didn't work. I had new B-roll, but the same story that I was fighting to make work. Three years of editing, and I couldn't create something that I was proud of. <laughs> it felt like I'd wasted everyone's time shooting this. In 2022, I committed to finally finishing it and just posting it to my YouTube. I finished the edit and finally felt like it was done. It wasn't perfect, but it was as good as I felt it could get. Get those rags out. You gotta put pressure on them. A few months later, and I started thinking about the story structure of Under the Sun. Every version I made was an exact copy of the one from 2013. And each one didn't work. Maybe the problem was my story structure. Taking the final export of the 2022 version, I chopped it up to brand new story beats. That night, the filmmaking gods came back. Finally, it was perfect. The following months, I recut the footage one final time. This film has been 10 years in the making. What did I learn? Sometimes you end up in your own way. If something's not working, give it another try. If it continues to not work, change the story. I want to leave you with some of my final thoughts on this project. Recorded after the night scene, sitting in my car after dropping off the cast and crew. Thank you for watching. It's like 1.30 in the morning and I, I'm more at a loss for words to describe how this shoot went. Best thing I can say is, is thank you to the crew to the cast who sacrificed their Friday night to roll around in the mud. Thank you, thank you. 
man, I don't know. Under the Sun just reaffirmed everything that I've been doing. All the hours. It made it all feel worth it. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.